I try to explain to a child. Uh, no, <laughs> wow. Sorry, I'm not making the same comparison with you. I am here on the Rego Fix Stand at Emo, and I'm with Pascal, and we're going to take a bit of a tour and learn about some of the products they have on show, starting with the Power Grip. Now, I am quite confused on how this works. I'm hoping you're going to be able to explain this to me. How do you clamp a tool by just pressing it together? Well, it's actually quite easy, Tom. Uh, I tried to explain to a child. Uh, no, <laughs> wow. Sorry, I'm not making the same comparison with you. It's a two-button system. But basically what we're doing is we try to clamp and unclamp a cutting tool. And this within eight seconds. This machine here is a hydraulic presser. We have different types of collets with a diameter of cutting tools that can be clamped in. And the machine is then going to detect how much pressure I need to apply to push in properly that tool at the perfect accuracy of three micron system runout and extremely high clamping forces, meaning a good transferable torque. And that's the main thing we spoke before. That's the main thing about a tool holder is the accuracy, the concentricity. It's got to run right, especially under hard roughing. Now, that is a great system, and obviously we're going to move on because we've got quite a long way to go. So, walking back, and I'm going to try not to fall off this stand, I was the Force Master. Now, we have actually done a full technical review on this, which, if you haven't, you should definitely watch. So, short form, yeah. what is the Force Master? Besides being the inventor of the ER Collet, we have a lot of experience in tool holding. But tool holding for us also means uh, we need to make sure that everybody is taking care of their machine spindle. Taking care means cleaning the spindle, it means measuring the spindle, and measuring means runout, concentricity, and also the clamping force. So we are now a full service provider when it comes uh, how to properly check your spindle to make sure that our tool holders are then working perfectly. So with this, you can check the concentricity, I keep saying that word, but also you can check the pullout force to exactly. make sure under heavy roughing, you're not going to start to get chatter on your tool holder. Yeah, and just make sure that your spindle is in the way it's working as you want it. It's normal that the spindle is, especially with higher RPMs and very dynamic processes, maybe losing a little bit of its accuracy or maybe with the pulling force. And you need to know that. As a user, you need to know that when we're talking about 20, 30, 40,000 RPMs, you want to know how rigid and how accurately your spindle is working. And for that, Regofix has now developed an entire lineup in metrology. So you are now, you're looking at the market and seeing what's needed. Now, as we move on, you actually have a demo running, yep. which we will see we will see afterwards. But obviously, the power grip, which we've just spoke about, yep. and you've automated it. Yeah. Since power grip is a very easy to operate system, it's a two bottom system, it's also very easy to automate. Automating meaning to let it work with an industrial or a collaborative robot. So what we're showing here in this very simple demonstration is that we are offering an automated power grip unit that can be operated with any kind of a robot, making the tool change, picking up the collet, put it inside the tool holder, the tool holder inside the machine, and clamp it. So fully automated and at a very cost efficient uh, um, uh, uh, solution because since it's easy to operate, it's also easy to automate, easy means uh, low cost. Sir. And then as we move on, also with the, the skill gap and the skill shortage, also that must, oh, sorry, sorry guys. Yeah. Uh, also that must make it easy to keep your machine shop running as well. Now, yeah. could you have made a longer tool holder? <laughs> uh, we could, but uh, <laughs> it would maybe not be perfect operational inside the machine. Um, it's more here to demonstrate what's technically possible. When you're making two long tool holders, one challenge is with the gravitational forces, you have a big bending moment. So what we did, we added some vibration chambers. These vibration chambers are helping us to reduce the rigidity and making sure that the system itself has a shock absorbing, even with the long holders, even with high RPMs on the long tool holders, if you have to reach a pocket or something inside your workpiece. So it's a very convenient way, and this MFT technology that Regofix has introduced is especially helpful in very long tool holders. So you're helping people who are getting chatter, vibration. Well, 
I wouldn't like to run it myself, but let's put it that way. So, <laughs> moving on, <laughs> what are we on to next? This one here is called the Torco Block. It's another patented solution by Regofixer. Uh, what it does um, is it is helping you to properly clamp um, your ER nut. You know, every ER tool holding system and every diameter that you're putting inside your ER holder, you need to respect how much clamping force you need to apply. Unfortunately, not every customer does it. They're not checking the charts in the catalog, so they are over-torquing it to say, ah, oh, give it a little bit more force on it. What's happening is there is a torsion inside the holder for the collet, so suddenly you don't have a good runout anymore, and it can even eventually crack the tool order from the outside. A very occurring problem. And that is the solution for it. I feel like you were talking straight at me then because I used to do that. <laughs> or even get a hammer and just knock the, uh, the spanner yeah, around. Anymore. Exactly. But we'll move on quickly. No, um, definitely. <laughs> now, just before we finish, obviously, I've seen a lot about this. Yeah. And to me, this could be a game changer for people using angle heads and that sort of thing. So, can you explain what the recall is and how it is so helpful? Yeah, sure. The Regofix Recool is a very easy to retrofit from external coolant to true coolant tooling. So what you can do is uh, you, take over, you take away your nut on your driven tool, you put the external coolant tube to the nut, you connect it, and then you can basically use the external coolant, which is going to be guided to the recooler, which will bring the coolant properly to your cutting tool, no matter if it's going to be like in this example, a drill for internal coolant, or you can put in another sealing disc and then you have peripheral coolant um, to get all these advantages. A lot of driven tools don't have the option for internal coolant, and with this you can basically retrofit any kind of machine in less than two minutes to true coolant options. Now I used to use angle heads quite a lot, and the biggest problems I always faced was swarf evacuation, because yep. you're trying to bend the yep. hoses and get them right in, but then you drill in and the swarf hits the hoses and away Good they point. go. So to me, like I've said again, absolute game changer and could really help quite a lot of people in quite a lot of industries sort out problems they never knew they had. Yeah, yeah. And it's definitely, you mentioned it, uh, with internal coolant, with peripheral coolant, you can solve a lot of application issues. And when you see the trend in cutting tools, it's going more to more into true coolant solutions or peripheral solutions. Also, if you're working with material, austenetic steels or other materials that heat, that tend to heat up, you need to have good coolant options. But if your machine is not ready for this, you should not say, okay, I don't have any kind of application field for that. You just need to check what is available on the market and definitely recoil could be a good solution for that.